more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money. I'm bringing you another Madden 19 preview. We have the running backs today. These are the final ratings for the running backs that will not change before the game comes out. And uh, this is, you know, this is this is it. We got Le'Veon Bell, number one. David Johnson coming off of a season when he didn't play number two, Ezekiel Elliott number three, and the reigning offensive player of the year, Todd Gurley, number four. After that, um, you know, I don't really have anything to say, you know, like the quarterbacks when I did, I argued some of the ratings. I'm pretty content with these ratings. I, I could I could argue points here and there, but it's no big deal. Um, not really worth my time. I also got the break tackle stat over there. You can add one stat, and that's the one that I have added. So um, I'm also going to go over the highest in breaking tackles later in the video the highest in elusiveness later in the video and uh, highest in speed so you guys can know where those fast running backs are let's be honest speed is everything when you want to do these outside runs um, some really good looking uh, you know prospects out there Jarek McKinnon I don't think he was an 85 last year but he got a huge boost uh, Darren Sproles 86 speed man he's worthless now I don't even know why he's in the game anymore <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous Amir Abdullah I don't think the guy ever really did anything he's kind of a high rating uh, Sa Saquon Barkley there's the guy everybody wants man Saquon got an 83 break tackle on top of some pretty good physical stats like a 92 speed and whatnot they got C.J. Anderson coming off of a fresh 1,000-yard season. I don't know why he's so lowly rated. I mean, he didn't do anything poorly to get lowly rated. I mean, he's not the same as Austin Keller. I'm not even sure how to say his name. Austin Keller, speed guy, had a couple of decent moments. Uh, Joe Mixon, a couple of decent moments, but that guy's a proven, a proven player. Then you got Tavon Austin, a real speed guy. We're going to see him in a bit. Look at the, 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 <laughs> the Kansas City Chiefs. Four straight running backs at 79 apiece. Like, their backfield is absolutely loaded. And I don't even know where all that comes from. Court Clement should be higher. Uh, that dude had 100 yards catching the Super Bowl. He just looked better and better. He had a three-touchdown game last year, too. 77 overall is kind of low, in my opinion. Should be maybe a point or two higher. No big deal. Sony Michelle, rookie, coming straight out. Kenyon Barner. I, I always pump up Kenyon Barner. And you're going to see why here in a minute. He's got one of the, the better elusiveness in this game. And he's just a complete unknown. He is an absolute stud. Rashad Penny, another rookie going over these rookies he's a 90 speed guy i think he's gonna be a monster in real life nfl we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go over the speed guys now Corey grant fastest running back in the game Tavon austin questionable if he's really a running back but he's number two and then you got a bunch of guys that are pretty much uh, pretty much the same thing. I mean, actually, I mean, Tevin Coleman and Keith Marshall also 94 speed, but ne ne Naheem Hines, I'm not even sure to say his name. I called him out. I knew he was going to be fast. Had the fastest 40 time in the combine. He's a 93 speed, so he's a guy you want to you want to find. Ronald Jones, I'm glad they did his speed right. Um, you know, he definitely deserves it. Like I said, Austin the Killer. Here, here's another guy. He's there again. Uh, the 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 Chargers are just such a loaded loaded roster. We're also going to go over. Um, the uh, the elusiveness, which is um, you know number one guy David Johnson. He's also one of the fastest guys. He's a monster. Alvin Kamara number two. Uh, just some really good looking players. And then you got Tree Cohen down there. He's a bit of a sneaky steel guy. Uh, people know about him though. He's a monster. And then like I said, Kenyon Barner out of nowhere, just right in the middle of this uh, with one of the better elusiveness. And he's he's a fast guy. He's an absolute monster in this game. Like I said, try to get him. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see uh, the receivers next, as soon as this video hits 50 likes. Um, or the following day, whichever comes sooner, I will put that out. Other than that, thanks for watching, Mad Money Shit Out.